Hey, Snow Tracks YouTubers, have we got some news for you today. We're coming live from uh, central Ontario in a top secret location because what we're going to show you today, nobody's supposed to be able to see. So you're like among the first people on earth next to us who are going to get to see a real Taiga electric snowmobile. And this is a pretty exciting day for the industry because this is not just some cobbled up thing that, that's being brought to the market. This is a beautifully finished, beautifully styled, well manufactured production snowmobile. Now these units that we have here today are pre-production prototypes, but they are in the truest sense production snowmobiles. And they are going to have uh, quite an effect on the market. And I, I want to talk to you today about uh, some of the features, some of the unique things about this, but the first thing I'm going to tell you is I had this much expectation this morning when we got to ride this, zero. I have come away and I can honestly say that this isn't just good, this is really good and it's fun. So uh, you'll see as we continue to talk about it. So what do we got? This is the Taiga. This is a uh, completely custom built for electric power snowmobile. It's not some cobbled together other snowmobile. We were kind of cynical six months or a year ago. We said, ah, it's just, you know, they made a deal with Skidoo and bought a bunch of tubs and tunnels and they put their motor in it. Uh-uh, this is its own vehicle. This is, everything is unique, right down to the drivetrain, uh, to the running boards. I know that you'll, you'll be uh, zooming in and trying to see stuff on this and say, no, no, that's off of Skidoo. It's not, okay, it's not. Now there is a couple things and I'll just start here. This brake is the same brake that Polaris uses on the Matrix and that Arctic Cat uses on their sleds and uh, Yamaha as well. This switch gear cluster looks very familiar. This is their own throttle. And you know what? It doesn't have any throttle lag at all. Okay, this is a kill switch, looks kind of generic, but it's nicely trimmed out. Take a look at the console here, the way the things are finished off. Here's the gas tank. Oh wait, no, you can't put gas in there. This is where you put your electrical charge in. You hook your charge cords up. Okay, the green button, guess what? That's for go. That's to get you going. And I'm not going to go through the complete starting procedure because it's, it's too long for me to take that on just a walk around. But I want to show you the cool instrument panel. So you got RPM on the left. You've got uh, the amount of battery, just we'll generically call it that, on the right. And your speed in the middle here. Okay, and this is the amount of battery that's left in the vehicle right now, 50%. So we've had 50% of our fun so far. Okay, uh, let's go around and have a look at the front end. Talk about the suspension. It's a double A-arm front end. It's got uh, forged aluminum spindles. They look like extrusions, but I, I think they're forged. And it has uh, aftermarket quality curved skis on it, which work really, really well, our impression so far this morning has been that these skis, we really like the way they work. But it's a, a, a double A-arm, unequal length A-arm front end. You've got aluminum bodied uh, gas cell shocks with preload adjustability on the two uh, collars and the collars are our locking collars. Okay, underneath at the rear, you've got a 154 uh, inch skid with a 1.60 uh, ice, it's a, it, I'm, I call it an ice ripper, but it's not. It's called an ice cobra. So it's got the piece studs in the end of the lugs, which is what everybody wants. This model, I should tell you, is called the Nomad. And this is probably going to be, well, it may not be the biggest seller, but I have a funny feeling it might be the biggest seller when the Taiga is first available because this has got a lot of versatility to it. It goes, like, it, it performs fantastic. It's got lots of power in this version. There'll be two different versions and the horsepower ranges and the way you can get them will, it will vary from 90 to 120 horsepower. But just trust me, at 90 horsepower, this has got all the jam that any 600 two-stroke uh, in, in terms of uh, acceleration and power. It runs really great. Uh, you got a two-up seat standard with the Nomad. Nice backrest, nice handholds. Um, and then this ginormous rack at the back, which, um, I mean, 
you could put all manner of things in there. You could start a house moving business and put a piano in there. It's ginormous. And uh, it's got a standard tow hitch as well, which is kind of handy. And uh, one of the things that really stands out to me about this, this vehicle, and it, it hit me right away, is the quality of finish. Like the painted parts are really nice. They're nice quality. All of this handlebar trim and the way it looks with this cover on the uh, on the uh, handlebar clamp, it it's finished really nice. The Nomad comes with a this windshield is standard, and you're going to hear more from Luke later on about the uh, about the other model, the Atlas that we have here, and uh, that this windshield will actually work on on any of the Tigers. So. Uh, one of the things we get from you guys, other than a lot of hassle, is uh, is you always want us to start the snowmobile up and you want to hear it. And I get that and I put that top of my list today because you're going to be so impressed. So are you ready? Are you ready for me to start it and listen to it? Okay. How's it sound? Do you like that? That's the sound of a Taiga electric snowmobile. Okay. Just kidding with you. So uh, how does it work and how does it run? It runs as quiet as a mouse. You cannot hear it. In fact, what you hear is the track clips hitting the front of the rails and just the rumble of the track going around the tires. That's all you hear. But let me tell you something, the rushing of the wind, especially on the Atlas when you have it in its uh, performance mode, the rushing of the wind going by your helmet is doggone impressive. Uh, one of the things that we're all gonna have to get used to those of us who are, and like, I don't even like four strokes. So here I am telling you, I like an electric snowmobile. But one of the things we're gonna have to get used to is, is looking at the back end of these things going down a lake because there is uh, serious performance here. This is not a downgrade from a internal combustion engine powered snowmobile. This is an upgrade. They, uh, they produce power in a linear fashion. So it's different than the way uh, a two-stroke or a four-stroke motor makes torque and horsepower on a curve. It's more of a linear fashion, the way the power is produced. And what it means is, is that you gotta wrap your hands around the grips and hang on to these things, because they are fast. So I'm not gonna talk to you about range. I'm not gonna talk to you about specific horsepower per se, because these are pre-production vehicles and that's all to be confirmed. But we just thought it would be super cool to bring you guys the first, our, our first opinions on our first exposure to the Taiga electric snowmobile. And uh, we, uh, we really salute these guys for, for their innovation. I mean, the stuff and the money that's been uh, spent on this to bring this kind of a quality product to the market just indicates to me, this is no, uh, this is no fly by night organization. There is a lot of dough sitting here in tooling, research and development. And these guys are serious, serious about the Taiga snowmobile. So there you go. We'll have a little more for you later on on the Atlas. And uh, I'm doing this because Luke and AJ took off for lunch. And so I got somebody to come out and just film me and do this because they usually do these. So you're lucky you got me today. Great stuff. Thanks a lot for watching.